Is it here? Are you the photographer that loves to do close-up and macro work but are having issues with trying to hold your camera steady enough to get nice, clear, crisp images? Well, we always want to minimize the amount of equipment we want to lug around. But honestly, if your answer is you need to get precise imaging for your close-up and macro work because you're doing this professionally or you just want to be able to sell product, for example, on eBay or you do jewelry and precious gemstones photography, anything that requires precise close-up work, of course, you can use the top-notch lenses that are on the market. But if you don't have a way to hold it steady enough and maintain proper control, it's useless. So this is the answer. It's a four-way focusing macro rail. It looks complicated, but what it is is a very precise tool to guarantee that your focus is on the money. Let's take a look at how easy it is to work with this. Now, obviously this is meant to be used with a tripod. Right now I have my tripod plate from Manfrotto attached to the bottom of it because it also has a quarter inch thread there and I like to work with Manfrotto tripods. I've had good results with them, plus I prefer quick release plates. That way I can take it off and on in a hurry. Now, of course, you could also add a quick release plate up here. I just don't happen to have an extra with me at the moment. But the way you're going to attach your camera is you're going to use your normal standard quarter inch tripod thread and it's going to thread onto this lug bolt here line it up you want to make sure that you have it lined up so that it's nice and flush tighten it again this doesn't have to be super tight but it wants to be tight enough so that you don't have any mishaps you definitely don't want your camera to go flying all right so there we go so now it's nice and adjusted on there. Now we're going to mount it onto our tripod. I happen to have one of the B3s. This is one of my favorites. This goes with me everywhere because it's easy to carry, easy for traveling. Now you're going to align it up. You want to make sure you do this correctly and lock it in place. You don't want any mishaps. And then you lower the head. Notice how this started to move forward. So guess what? You always want to make sure that you have this lined up with one of the legs. This way you have less chances of having this guy flying off. And then you're going to do your adjustment here on the side. You have a locking bolt so that you can move horizontally or left to right. And then you have another one that allows you to do the up and down for precise so again release this one and it's a nice smooth way to do it I mean it's super smooth it there's no jittering no no lagging I mean it's right on the money and you lock it in place so let me now activate my live view so that I can get my focusing going on here and line it up So, and now I can actually zoom in. And notice how by releasing this, I can zoom in more. I'm, happen to, I'm working with my favorite macro lens here so that I can lock the focus and shoot away. And again, I can do fine adjustments by moving side to side and I can be right on the money on the way that I want my exposure to be done and this way I can guarantee that I can get nice smooth and precise imaging done with my expensive macro setup as opposed to trying to guess by moving it up and down. Yes, all the lenses nowadays or most of the lenses nowadays have image stabilization, but nothing beats a more precise way than working with a focusing rail. This is economical, very precise, very easy to work with as you can tell. And again, it doesn't take up that much more room, but you can guarantee to get the nice crisp macro shots that you're inkling for. Well, if this actually was an answer to most of your questions when it comes to macro photography and getting crisp images, remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel.
Plus, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Happy shooting! Thank you.